that zero featuring Mayokun right there. The clock is just a few minutes past the noon and as you already know it is always a pleasure to bring nothing but pure entertainment to brighten up your day and to keep you updated in the world of entertainment. That is very correct. No cap. Like have you ever imagined life without music or Wednesday without East Flash? <laughs> I guess not. Yes, we guess not. <laughs> One of the things about bringing to you entertainment and amazing conversations, trends, and all the banging music videos you can think of. And of course, it's going to be an exciting show all the way. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. So don't change that dial while you enjoy every beat of the show because it's about to go down right here, right now. Do not forget, you can be part of the conversation on our socials at TVC Connect with the hashtag Esplash on TVC. Ladies Ladies and gentlemen, this is Roy, your highness is Flannis. I go by the name King OJ, but you can call me OJ. That's what it is. It, it is, is what, what it is. is. OJ, what happened yesterday? Now, I heard Chelsea played, and I don't know. What did you hear? I don't know, but I heard that Chelsea Football Club played, and something happened. I don't know. Something How was the match? We won 4-0. Oh, you guys won for <laughs> You see, it's no, us, I heard it's that us, you guys it's played. Us no it guys. doesn't even get your facts right guys. today. We, what did I say? Uh, so I heard you guys played. Uh, not, that one, and you want, that was you want, the match. No, not trolling you come with. No, I wasn't we, trolling we, you, darling. We, we if actually, I was trolling you, we, I would troll we you. We actually beat Juventus. You know that club Juventus? Well, four, four, that's good news for you, right? 4-0. That's good news for you, right? Somebody have a name here. Because that's not my business. Hey, honey, I'm vexed. So anyways, guys. Well, Asla, Asla, Asla doesn't even play Tuesday and Wednesday night football again. They're not even in Europa Cup. Well, people, eh? you know my name. <laughs> my name is, you know my name. My name is Catherine. You all mm. know me as Lady Cat, Have Real Hotness, or Kit Cat, or Cathy. Asu. All right, it's your home girl right here. It's your girlfriend next door. Mm -hmm. It's the jewel in the crown. Mm -hmm. It's the hostess with the missus, mm -hmm. baby. You can say honey sassy. Yeah. You can say honey rubber. Hey. You can say honey shmoney, ah. you know. Anyhow you want it. You can say honey. You can say honey pee. You can say honey pot. Honey. Okay, guys, no, I'm not going to mind haters because you know what? <laughs> I just came to face my work today. How about that for size two? And that was it. Hey. That was it. <laughs> All right. Here is what you can look forward to on today's show. There is the entertainment news, celebrity birthday shout outs coming up shortly. Then rewind where you will get a quick history lesson of today in entertainment history and, of course, Women Crush Wednesday. Yes, we'll then be joined by our guest for today, after which I'll be in charge of today's laughs on social view. And on the flip side of the show, we will be chewing it off, checking out the news recap. Right after that, it will be time to check out all the big songs in the land in one place on the most authentic countdown show, the East Flat Top, Top 10, 10 Countdown. countdown. <laughs> Let's get it started. Just for the record. Hey, hey. question, burning boy, don't jazzy, right, right, right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so many questions begging for answers, right? Mm -hmm. What is mm -hmm. <laughs> Leave me alone. You will not speak your truth now. Is she? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, let's get straight into the entertainment news. Nigerian artists grab Grammy nominations. Exciting times for Nigerian music and the Nigerian music industry as Wizkid, Femi Kuti, Made Kuti, Thames, and even Burner Boy have been nominated for the 2022 Grammys. Wizkid's Made in Lagos, Deluxe, and Femi Kuti and Made Kuti's Legacy Plus got nominations in the Best Global Music Album category while the best global music performance category had whiskeyed again with terms for essence Bernie boy and ajali kijo on do yourself and femi kuti again with pa 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 kanye west's highly anticipated donda album dominated the rap categories and also granted the coveted album of the year category while lil nax x earned multiple nominations in several of the big four categories, which include a record of the year, album of the year, song of the year, and best new artist, her and Dodger Cat, were the most nominated female artists at this year's Grammy Awards with eight nods each. The award ceremony is set to hold on January the 31st. 2022. This is exciting times, man. Exciting, right? It's crazier now that 
the Grammys will be looking like BETs and the Mamas for us right mm -hmm. now. That we're ha we're having Nigerians, yeah. two Nigerians, yeah, in a particular category. Yeah. <laughs> ah, it's time to take over. The no, time is now. The, the time is now. We're taking over, actually. Ah. So wake up to the comeback. And then I also love the fact that it's not just for international music artists. It is global mm -hmm, album. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. Nigeria has gone global. People all over the world love Nigerian music. And this is of evidence in all the nominations of different yeah. world-recognized yeah, um, yeah. award ceremonies. Oh, so, I love that it is not world music. Mm -hmm. You know, world yeah, music used true. to be like it's underrated. Of course, it's a good it's still, it's still, it's still, it's, like it's still the same, music. Yeah. Yes. It's still the same category mm -hmm. that they just switched today, my many mm -hmm. brother. And I like this particular time that, uh, yeah, we know in that particular category, the sounds that are always usually there are the African alternative sounds. So, now, yeah. Now the Afro-pop and other genres can fit into this exactly. category. Exactly. That's why, shout out to the likes of them, Bonner Boy, uh, yeah. being nominated for, um, I think, I, um, African Giants first, got nominated for African mm -hmm. Giants. That's like a pop album, Afro-pop album. True. Then um, Twice As Tall to Afro-pop album that won. Now Whiskey's Made in Lagos is winning. The usual template for that particular category is always all those alternative exactly. sounds. Exactly. Like you have you so on door. Or you have different people yeah. like that. That is what now you used to call world music. music. Now, yeah. in a way, we have broken that jinx. Yeah. They switched the, um, the name the name of that particular category. And look at it now. Every Nigerian can actually get to the category. Yeah, no every matter. Nigerian artist. And I, I am particularly happy for Madekuti. Yeah. Yes, yes, I am. First time. I'm super excited. <laughs> like, and being nominated alongside your dad. Yeah, like, first time, first it's a time. great fit. Pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's who we win now. That's next now. <laughs> Who's going this one? <laughs> Brian is, is not be, Brian Boy is now being nominated. Anyhow, alongside. like anyhow. So, so, so Bernard Boy's nomination this time is alongside Angelique Angelic Kijo. Mm. And it was like that yeah. like two yeah. years ago. So that was yeah. Bernard Boy. Angelique Kijo. Kijo. Now it's Angelique yeah. Kijo. Ah, Bernard Boy. Boy. Yeah. yeah. Crazy, crazy times, man. Anyways, massive congratulations to everybody nominated. And of course, we are looking forward to the Grammys next year. Moving on, Kevin Spacey ordered to pay House of Cats production company. Oscar award-winning actor Kevin Spacey has been ordered to pay nearly $31 million to Media Rights Capital, the production company behind popular television series House of Cards. According to court documents, the decision was made because the actor repeatedly breached his contractual obligations by violating the company's sexual harassment policy. If you would recall, Kevin Spacey's contract was terminated by the company in 2017 following an investigation into several sexual misconduct accusations from multiple House of Cards employees. This termination occurred in the early stages of production on the sixth and final season of the series and the two episodes that were initially shot were scrapped as the show was forced to make some twists to cut off the actor's character Frank Underwood, leading to the cutting of number of episodes from 13 to 8. The production company filed a confidential arbitration demand in January 2019 in an attempt to recover the money lost due to the abrupt um, cost change. Then Kevin Spacey filed a counterclaim accusing the company for wrongfully terminating his contract and violating the pay or play obligation in their agreement. Following an investigation, the arbitrator found the actor's breaches of contract made him liable for the financial hit to the production company, which is broken down as $29.5 million in damages, with $1.2 million covering lawyers' fees and $235,000 in additional costs. What kind of contract was that? Is that, is that on the road there? Mm. Like, okay, you are supposed to be acting, you are supposed to be on this project. Mm -hmm. If you sexually harass somebody, bye. Is that you don't get does, any? Does that does that happen? I've never heard it. Yeah, I've never heard of this. <laughs> like my entire life. So maybe it is just something different, and maybe it is due to some of the things that they have In encountered. The there. So uh, you know, they just made it. So it's not like oh, that yeah. is how everybody yeah, yeah. does it. So yeah. And it could even be a last minute change, maybe for the new seasons, because of things that have been happening in recent times. Yeah, because yeah, maybe. right now, people, apart from artists signing record deals, people generally, if you're signing a contract, go through it because there are always loopholes, there are always things that might not favor you. Even I have a friend who's a model who signed a contract, and then at the end of the day, it didn't work out, and she didn't get paid. 
When she went to meet them, they said it's in the contract yeah. signed. Section two clause I I I. As in, they will come with the I I in bracket A something. So you need to go through every contract you're given yeah. because at the end of the day, there's always a way out for the company. Yeah, we also when they terminated Kevin Spacey from that particular series because of all the allegations surrounding mm -hmm. him. Uh, we're thinking that was where it all ended and look, looking at this one now that okay we had to do some turning around because of you yeah, because of your yeah, character yeah, yeah. we want you to go we lost money but you know what you owe us because you did so so and so interesting and stuff now uh, <laughs> should they bring that to nigeria if they bring it to nigeria i'm not sure they will get their money like or... very few people will be standing eh. no i'm not i'm i'm sure very few people will be standing that is what because I mean. even like because in Nigeria, we hear all of the stories every now and then, yeah. and it's almost like you're begging people, please take a cue from this, uh, uh, use this person's um, this thing to, as, as an, an example, example yeah. and all that. But people do not do that. Yeah. Somebody was telling me, she's an actor, and she was telling me that she was on a set, and somebody just said to her randomly, another actor, ah, you're yeah, fine, no, if not that... I go just rape you. Uh, How? That's too heavy. And the person said that it is because wow. this person is big, like, oh, he has a lot of fans and mm -hmm. all that. So he thinks that he can just say stuff loosely and get away with it. Just saying it, just uttering that statement abroad. You go, you go, oh, you're gone. You go through your life. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. That's all we can take on entertainment news. It's time for celebrity birthday shout outs. In alphabetical order, the first celebrant we have on our list is Colin Hanks, who is 44 today. He is an American actor, producer, director, who has acted in films such as Orange County, King Kong, The House Bunny, and the Jumanji film series, as well as several television series. Quick fact is the eldest of actor Tom Hanks. He so <laughs> much looks like his dad. I the slimmer <laughs> version of his dad. And he is as comical as his father. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, when he acts, he puts his act into it, and I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. okay, what's going on? I didn't expect anything less. I mean, mm -hmm. he has to be a chip of the old block. Yeah, true, love, yeah. love, love, love. Happy yeah. birthday. Moving on, Conlef Hill is 57 today. He is an actor from Northern Ireland, best known for his role as Varys in the HBO series Game of Thrones. Yes, <laughs> Very annoying character. Very annoying. Yeah. If you watch Game of Thrones, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Very snitch. We just go up now. You know what? Be supposed to. Very good. He's whispering and he's ah. killing and things are happening. He was only looking out for his best interest. Yes, like, so. now wear money day, now wear food day at the face. So all of these movies actually portray what happens in the real life. Yeah, exactly. Because there are people like yeah, this. Yeah, and I like true. that that's a guy, because most times people oh, would think, God. okay, if it was a right, happy now, birthday, cool. happy birthday, yes. I don't know what you're talking Thank about. Thank you very there. much. Yeah. <laughs> Lola Alfie V. Raimi is a year older today. She is an Arjun actress who has acted in TV shows and films such as Violated, Keeping Fate, Doctor's Quarters, Solitaire, Palace, The Figurine, Tinsel, MTV Sugar, amongst others. She also had a long-running radio show. Yes, happy OG. birthday. That's right. And uh, yes, I remember that's a radio show. <laughs> Very well. Interesting. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yes. Yeah. All right, moving on. Lynx is a year older today. is an Arjun recording artist and entrepreneur. He released his debut studio album, uh, This Is Lynx, in 2010, which had hit uh, songs like Fine Lady, fine, fine, fine yes, lady. Change Your Party, I go change your party. Ice Cream Factory. Yes, I can't remember. Okay, I thought you were going to be singing along. <laughs> Follow me among Follow. many others. Lynx, <laughs> Utuno. Ah, Lynx. What's up, Utuno? <laughs> I think a very interesting thing that happened to Lynx is Lynx giving his life to Christ. No. Oh, wow. So I was thinking perhaps you're going to be, you know, listening to some gospel songs and all exactly. that. Then looking at links, I'm not saying that you cannot be, um, you know, well-built, fabulous and all that and still, you know, be a follower of Christ. Uh -huh. No, that is not what I'm saying. But, you know, when he said it, uh, 
Honey, for this your explanation and your reactions where, where, and everything. Where, 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 Oh wow! Oh, happy, you go happy for one and a half. Before I backslide right here, <laughs> Sarah Island is thirty-one today. She's <laughs> an American actress best known for playing Holly Dunphy in the ABC sitcom Modern Family. She's also known for her roles in films such as Gig. Charming, Struck by Lightning, Scary Movie 5, Vampire Academy, XOXO, Dirty Dancing, The Wedding Year, amongst others. Mm -hmm. And she's a very Happy talented birthday. actress, started mm -hmm. as a child star, mm -hmm. right now she's Killing it. All righty. Happy, Happy birthday. Happy birthday to everybody celebrating today. We wish you the very, 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 very best. It's such a wonderful time to be alive. And I keep saying it. If there is anything you're going through, you feel so bad and you're like, why you? I want to say that this too shall pass. There Amen. is a reason for that. Amen. And you know what? You will be fine again. You are just wonderful like that. Happy birthday. Yay! Can I get hallelujah? Amen. <laughs> All right, guys, up next, everyone, and a woman crush Wednesday. Take a look. Watch, 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 watch this. Let's rewind. On this day in 2008, Craig David releases his first greatest hits album, Born to Do It. Then in 2013, 40th American Music Awards, Taylor Swift and Justin Timberlake win. And the American Music Award goes to... Finally, on this day in 2014, Take Your Time single released by Sam Hunt, it won the Billboard Song of the Year 2015. And that's it on Rewind. Watch, 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 watch this. It's Woman Crush Wednesday, and today we're crushing on Kerry Washington. Best known for playing Strong World Crisis manager Olivia Pope for seven seasons, Kerry has achieved awards recognition for her roles in Ray, Django Unchained, and Confirmation. Born in the Bronx, New York, Kerry attended her home state's Tada Youth Theatre Company in her teens and after graduating from George Washington University with a degree in sociology and anthropology, she further honed her acting talents at New York's Michael Howard Studios. She made her screen debut in a 1996 episode of ABC After School Special and graduated to the big screen four years later with a co-starring role in Coming of Age, Our Song. Since then, Washington has gone on to star in many other movies like Lift, Save the Last Dance, no, what do you think I used to really Bad Company, The United States of Leland, and many other movies. Now here are five things you need to know about Miss Washington. Time magazine included Washington in its Time 100 list of most influential people in the year 2014. In 2018, Forbes named her the 8th ISP television actress. Washington has won a Primetime Emmy Award and five NAACP Image Awards, including the President's Award. She is married to American Nigerian NFL player Namdi Asomuga, and they have a daughter and a son. If it was up to her parents, Carrie Washington would not have been an actress. They would have preferred her to become a lawyer. Uh -oh. Now, all this and more reasons we love Carrie yeah. Washington, and she is our woman crush today. Yes, sir, the very beautiful, talented Kerry Washington. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have our guest in the building. Joining us on the show this afternoon is an award-winning rapper who had one of the biggest songs last year, continuing on his winning streak. He gave us another banger this year that got us in our feelings. And right now, he has another one which is presently running the airwaves. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the leader of the revival and the self-acclaimed rap Nazaria. Mm -hmm. Guys, we have Laddy Poe. In the building! Hey, I like the way I'm feeling now! Did you, did you get what I did with the I intro? It, you saw the feelings? I was you impressed. saw the running? I was impressed. Oh! oh. 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 
Lady <laughs> Pearl, I would like to say congratulations on all the wins Thank because you, you know what? I won't even lie. For the longest, I am one of those people that I've been cheering you on. You might not know, but behind <laughs> the scene, we're like, oh, oh, oh. And you know, I keep saying it's that Lady Pearl is underrated. Lady Pearl is good. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is not because you have blown. I said it to so many people, like, do you know Lady Pearl? <laughs> and then they're like, uh, and I'm like, no, you know, like, you need so. To know. I love the fact that you did that one with Simi, and from there on, it was just like magic. Thank you. And I really want to know what you thought about before doing that with Simi, and uh, yeah. you know, before then, were you in doubt, okay, or were you giving <laughs> up at some point? Like, I have one thousand and one things to ask. Uh, you. Um, working with Simi was something that I've been looking to do for a while. And I remember I, I found a message where I'd hit her up, and I said, you know, I want to work with you on a song, you know, and I'd like to meet you. And she's like, oh, yeah, I'm down to meet you, too. But the other, working on a song, that's not up to me. And I remember, um, fast forward a couple of years later, I was in her studio. We had seen enough of each other's music to, for her to invite me over. And um, she was asking me a bunch of questions, like, you want to ask me now? <laughs> and, you know, she was asking me these questions. And I said, you know, Simi, if it was anybody else, I'll tell them I don't, I don't know you well enough to answer those questions. Oh, wow. Right? You know, and, um, she, and I said, Simi, you know what? A good idea for a song. You know? And uh, it was like, uh, you know, knowing, not knowing a person well enough, but still mm -hmm. feeling strong feelings for them. And, that's, and we sat down and wrote it. You know, and she's an amazing, not just an amazing artist, but an amazing engineer. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, she engineers her music. Mm -hmm. She was there in the studio saying, okay, no, 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 <laughs> take it again. <laughs> see how she has comments here too about Adekunle yeah. Boda. She, her, that she, she's that a taskmaster. <laughs> yes. I'm joking, see me a bit, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but um, it was a pleasure working with her. And um, from there, of course, you know, it was, became the lockdown anthem. And uh, of course, this year I had to do something even more. Mm -hmm. you know, one, mm -hmm. one is not enough. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. People I need agree. To me. <laughs> need to feel me. Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's talk about your songs and social media. Okay. Especially TikTok. Oh. <laughs> like, you were talking about the lockdown, and I'm like, during the lockdown, I was on TikTok, and I was, I was always seeing the, uh, challenge. the challenge, yeah. like everything. Yeah. And then when you said duet me and yeah. all of that, and I'm like, how were you able, at first, I thought to myself, how were you able to manage it during the lockdown? Then I remember mm. TikTok, I'm like, okay, so how did you feel when you found out so many people loved your songs and wanted to be involved? I mean, it was, we had over 150,000 TikTok videos, you know. Crazy. TikTok, they nominated it for one of the songs yeah. of the year. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. So that was amazing to me. Um, for the duet, really, it was simple because the song meant to me, especially because we're in lockdown, you know, keeping in touch in times when everybody's so far apart. And the duet was, the, I felt, a way to show that we're together, even though we're in a different mm -hmm. place. So it's amazing to see how many people locked on to it. Catherine, I didn't see your own. <laughs> <laughs> I did well, see your actually did. You did it. I'll show you after the interview. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. good, good, good. You know? So, I mean, uh, to me, it was just amazing. And, and it became a vehicle by which the song really traveled, mm -hmm. not just to this, in this country, but across Everywhere. Africa mm -hmm. and even abroad as well. So I'm very grateful for those things. But it came out of just wanting to do something in lockdown, something mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let, let's talk about this, the leader of the revival. Yeah. What's that all about for people that do not know? The leader of the revival, you know, it really came at a time where the revival to me is reviving artistry, like what it takes to be an artist. It's not just vibes and, you know, putting us, it's putting yourself out there, but there's a side of you that people need to see. What makes the music work? You have to reflect the times as an artist. There's a lot of things that go into being an artist, and I want to represent all of that. I was told categorically that the kind of music I make will not work in this country. Oh. So I want to stand for the people who have been told the same thing, that I represent that. You know? So the leader of the revival was, at the time when I came up with it was able to encourage myself. <laughs> me, I was not, you know, but now it's becoming much more than that. It's now becoming a movement. Mm -hmm. So I see that you've been encouraging yourself a whole lot because 100%. when we go on Instagram, we see every time you tell yourself that, okay, if I were to tell myself something, I would just say, yeah. keep running. Yes. And then the other yes. time you were talking about the chess game you played mm. with Fireboy, <laughs> uh, one of the scenes, uh, you know, yeah. in running, and yeah. then you said that you were actually playing against your old songs or yes. something of that yeah. sort. You yeah. want to explain it. What's the motivation about? So pretty much um, the running video, which is out right now, is an amazing video shot by director K. And one of the concepts we wanted to do was telling your old self, what would you tell yourself mm. now? Mm. Especially now that things have maybe opened up or you see the light at the end of the tunnel, you know. But then you couldn't quite see it. You know, I think I would have told myself that, bro, like, keep running, stay motivated, and don't worry as much. You're doing the right thing. I think that's the main thing. 
Mm. And so in the video, what we did was I wore my outfit for my song, Jai, which I shot in mm. 2019. Yeah. Yeah. It's the exact same outfit, yeah. right? And then Recreated Fireboy. It. Exactly. And then <laughs> I'll tell you about my hair. <laughs> yeah. Because I had not. That, that, that happened. I mean. <laughs> That's all. So they had to now, they had to, what they had to do is, because obviously then I had shorter hair. So they had to put a wig cap, they put glue, they put <laughs> yeah. it out. Trimmed it down. It was a whole process. Oh I was God. not happy. You know, director K, I'm coming for you. But then Fireboy wore his outfit from the Jealous video, mm -hmm. which is also yeah, really with the and that was his first big yeah. song. So, you know, and he's. I love his caption on Instagram. He said, "Imagine if I didn't keep running. Mm. Imagine if he stopped. Imagine if he mm. didn't release Jealous." You yeah. know? So I think that um, it, the video was our way of saying. Yes, you're running on vibes, but the most important thing is you're still running. I like. I like. All right, I, I, love, I, like. I like the fact that we're all running, but right now we need to go on a quick break, and when we get back, ladder post still in the building. Yes, sir. It's a vibe. <laughs> oh, wow, vibes. I feel the anointing from the microphone. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Uh, we still have the leader of the revival, Lazi Poo, in the building. You know, mm -hmm. I always ask myself this question. You love the way you were feeling. You decided to run on vibes. <laughs> and then you chose Fireboy. Why? Was it because of the fire? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire. I mean, because, you know, it's the thing about it is that in 2020, Fireboy and I were having conversations. And I was oh. just telling him that, bro, I was listening to your album, you know, Laughter, Tears, and Goosebumps. And I was like, this is just... Your, your writing mm. is more than just putting things together. You're intentional. And I was like, you know, I really like that. And he said, you know, the same thing about my music and congratulations on Know You. Yeah. Yeah. There's this mutual positive mm. energy between us, you know. So it was like, okay. And then there's a time that D Smoke came from America. D Smoke um, is an mm. artist. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he came yeah. around and I said, I went to link him up uh, and Fireboy was there. And I was just like, look, let's get into the studio. It took some time. But eventually, <laughs> once we locked into the studio, we Knocked out about two, three songs. Mm -hmm. Running uh -huh. was the last one we did. Interesting. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you because, were. oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, I am like, okay, so you're particular about the people you yeah. uh, feature yeah. in your song, Simi, yeah. Buju, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bad Boy. And then every time we're looking forward to... Who's next? Who's, next? Who's the special person? Because when you were going to talk about uh, Fireboy, you said, I have one special, you know, person. Because, because you know, to me, is I want to feature with people who want to work with me. Mm -hmm. I think okay. that's the first criteria. And that mutual energy has to be there because that's what makes the best music. Mm -hmm. You're comfortable being in one another's space and, you're, and therefore you're allowing yourselves to be yourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, and you make the best music, authentic music. Because if you're saying that people will want to work with you, Buju, for instance, if we go to Instagram and we see what Buju shirts are like, <laughs> what he says every time he feels on top of the world, like, you know what? And then he's calling everybody out every now and then. How are you so cool? Yeah, I mean, I think that, I think that uh, you know, everybody has their own personality type and what they feel that, you know, drives their music or, or what people want to mm. see, you know. But when, what I do know is that inviting Buju to the studio, um, it was great. Great. The mm -hmm. energy was great. Mm -hmm. He came with a great spirit. Um, his boys were in the studio. My boys were in the studio. We all jammed out. Right. Mm -hmm. And we were singing that hook before we left. So we knew we had something special. <laughs> it's a jam. Yeah, okay. We knew that. This is special. Mm -hmm. We didn't know that. See, we didn't know it was going to choke like this. <laughs> ah, it choked. Like, yeah. Who they breathe? Yeah, exactly. And, and, and to be honest with you, this is a, a prayer as, as well as a statement of fact. Feeling is not done, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, Nigeria it has embraced yeah. it, but yeah. the rest of the world is going to feel that song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what, what are you planning on doing? Like, I, mean, I mean, I just see that the, the US, the UK, big markets, okay. I see feeling being there because it's, it's, it's a song that, yeah. it's a proclamation of, it's, you're accepting how you feel now. Yeah, yeah. And you're reminding yourself in this moment, I don't know about yesterday, today, but now I feel good. Love the way. How yeah. do I think that there is, a, there should be like a pastor for music? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't think that is. It's, it's the little yeah. of the revival. Yeah. Different kind of revival. Yeah. Yeah. Revival night. Yeah. Pull up. Let, let, let's switch from music. <laughs> now you're a dad. How, how, how is that feeling? Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, you, dad? Um, it's something I don't really discuss much, <laughs> but what I will say about it is that it's a very humbling experience and it's, um, it's also incredibly motivating. You know, if ever you felt that you're on the wrong path, you're validated. Mm. I feel like for my life to have gone in this direction and for all these things to happen, I must have been going on the right path. And I just want to make my family proud, you know, and, and my child included. And um, 
That's all I want to say. Okay. Yay. <laughs> because I was going to talk about, you know, um, people being nominated, our dreams being nominated for mm. Grammys. Mm. Yeah, it's so interesting. Yes. It is not the first time, yes. but it's almost like, okay, right we now. We own it now. See, oh, oh, so oh, yeah. oh, gee. This is why they're going to come for us. Yes, we own it. Ah, no. No. Oh, because, no, because you know what? <laughs> like, tell me, I, I saw you something. Oh, you used to think, oh, Nasi finish. Uh, you yeah. put on see Grammy finish yeah. or something. But yeah. the thing is, we are working hard. Like, Nigerians yeah. are working hard and they can yeah. see us. Uh, the spotlight is here. You were nominated for a BET. BET yes. And, yes. Um, I mean, joking about yeah. Grammys. I mean, it's not so bad now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if I wake up tomorrow, next year, <laughs> and I see that Lady Pearl has been nominated, I feel good. Yes, that's um, fantastic. What do you think? Are you going to be submitting stuff? I mean, for sure. I mean, I, there was a, I think it was 2019, I released a freestyle called the LOTR1, um, Leader of the Revival. It's the first series. And I said, I, I said, let me introduce myself in a way that you'll understand me. Nigeria's best chance of a rapper winning a Grammy. Mm. So it's something that I've already prophesied into my life, mm. period. So I believe it is possible. I don't know about we own it. But what I like about that is that we have Nigerians happy for Nigerians. Yeah. That's amazing, mm -hmm. you know? And I think that it's going to, what it, the impact it has on the generation coming behind us. True. There's a 10-year-old right now who doesn't know it, but he's going to be the next big, big thing on the continent. Very true. And we're there making sure that lane is open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not surprising anymore. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think that that's a very important thing, to give people the uh, feeling that they can do it too. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what Whiskey has done for me, Burner Boy has done for me. Mm -hmm. I feel like mm -hmm. I can do it too. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. I, actually, do it I actually love the fact that Nigerians encourage their artists. Mm -hmm. And this is something that artists all over the world have come out at one point or the yes. other to say. They've used it as an example. But now, uh, we see Nigerian artists who come out to tell their fans, well, I'm big, I'm way too big to talk with you and all of that. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, so how do you relate with your fans and how do you work with the female fans, all of that exposure, saying we want more Lady Pearl, meow. Yeah, we saw the UK uh, tour, the fan went first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, first of all, I feel like Catherine's taking shots at somebody who <laughs> says, uh, fans saying that, telling your fans <coughs> they're way too big. But no, 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 see, there are many <laughs> artists that have come out Is to that, say okay, that. No problem. There's not one person. I understand, I understand. There are a couple of them. No, oh, they don't do terrestrial interviews again. Exactly. Ooh. Shots are being fired, left, right, and center. <laughs> so what I will say about that is that um, I said, I've always said that my fans, they're my, they're my mainstream. What I mean by that is that before there was world, like there was acceptance, public acceptance of my music, I had fans mm -hmm. who liked my yeah. stuff. So I respond to them like, you guys are my mainstream, you know? You're important to me. In fact, I call my fans my lifelines. Mm. That's like my nickname for them. You know, so they are the ones that evangelize for me. They're the ones that tell another person, eh, why you is Lady Pearl in this conversation? Mm. So I, I carry them on my shoulder. And Terrestrial, look, man, I'm just happy to be here right mm -hmm. now. And I don't think that energy is going to go because I know the work that I put in. Mm. And I know that it was not just me alone that did this. So the communication, the fact that my fans have checked me, they're like, you don't tell us what is happening. Wow. Let us know in advance. Hey. So that's why I wrote a letter to them before I dropped my EP, Providence. Yeah. Yeah. I said, I will be dropping this. Because <laughs> now I've learned. They want to know. They want mm -hmm. to be involved. Mm -hmm. So I will start to do that as much as I can. Okay. So instead of writing letters this time around, why don't you tell us what to expect from that's you? What to expect. Very soon. Um, first and foremost, I dropped my EP, yeah. Providence. It came out, um, and it's, it's me to you. And mm. I'm very, very proud of it. Running is the first single. You know, there's other songs on it. There's Rema on it, yeah. featured on Afro Trigger. Mm -hmm. There's Amore on Love That's Lover a crazy Sing. song, too. They want yeah. Rema. You know, so um, if you, the more you listen to my music, the more you know my story. And so what to expect next is more videos like Running, amazing visuals, more performances. There will be a Ladi Pro performance next year, not this year. Hmm. Ah. But this year, we're in many places. <laughs> we're in many cities. You know, I want to make sure that I go as many places as I can this mm. December, but there's going to be a Ladi Pro show where everybody here is invited. Mm. I, want, I want people to understand what I do. I'm mm. performing on stage. That's where you turn the most unbelievers into believers. Oh, right. so, so we have our invitation already, already now, for next sorted. year. Hey. Sorted. Yeah. Sorted. Done. Done. Such a new year! Done deal. Done deal. Done deal. Done deal. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ladi yeah. for coming through and of course for always representing doing good music. Thank you very much. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back to check out some of the craziness happening on social media, on social video. Don't go nowhere. Keep it locked. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that was Lady Pope Buju feeling. Want to see some craziness happening on social media? Then you come to the right place.
It's time for Social Veil. Are you guys ready for this one? Yes, we are. Huh. So someone puts up this post and says, I know dark humor is cool, but why would you shout who they breathe at someone's funeral? Wow. Huh. Hey. Huh. I'm not there. I had to think about it again. And again. Okay. Wow. Yeah, let's just move huh. on. Huh. This is pathetic. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is a picture of Rasha. Yeah, the caption is, is saying there's a difference between A, babe, and A, B. Then call you B, you they blush all day. What if now, bastard? Uh, <laughs> so I have never been too gangster for things like this. Like, I need to understand what You don't, you don't use A, B? Uh, no, I don't do that. Uh, and if you use it for me, I would like to... Know what uh, that means. I would is. like you to clarify, like, what does this mean exactly? Because, I mean... <laughs> I, because I've seen people say people's names on their phones as Orishi Rishi, like different names. Not Orishi Rishi. Orishi Rishi. Orishi Rishi. Orishi What? People you know, can be very funny. People do you not know use AB. I use High B. And then okay. there was this day someone buzzed me and I said, Hi B. And the person was like, Ah, baby, how are you? I said, Who's your baby? He said, Sorry, what does B mean? I said, Boss. He said, Ah, okay. Hi, you boss. are not serious. Wait, 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 wait. You said, Hi, the, bo the B you said is boss. Yes. <laughs> you said, you said you didn't want no, me. but the thing is that you're not serious. Yes, Why? Nah. Yes, you're not serious because you Why? wanted to keep it um, a bit formal, like hi boss, um, and then not the boss, like my boss, uh, boss, but the person boss, boss. Do you understand? But then you're not, you're not saying no, hi. As the person like, wants to now jump, I have to. No, 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 I don't blame no, that person. It's no. you. Please, please, please. Now, wow. So, ah, see so your so face. Just oh, no, I call people babe. So they say just put the babe, not they put B. I'm telling you, I would never understand it. So this person. To get confused, and the caption is, I want half paint of beans. And the seller, I say, the seller measures it and tries to put Jara. And the person I say, Come on, Tom. I say, Come on, Tom. Beans, Jara, on top of which gas? Ah, not true. <laughs> Do you know how much gas is in the market? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's think about this. Very well. extra. Because if they give you extra, <laughs> it is still the same amount that, that, you, that you, you still cook with, you know, the amount of. My guy, my guy, the overcook, we say no, Jara. Oh, yeah, well, Danny, you like, it is you that will not have more. So because of this small thing, I'm not even full my hands. And Jara, they can be very stingy with Jara. It can be like two <laughs> grains or but something. But they say like someone wants it to give you a yes. <laughs> no, the thing is that you know that overkaku, uh, over sometimes you are not balanced because mm -hmm. of the problems yeah. that you are going through. Very true. Because sometimes now you go back to Jara. No, because look at the two pictures. Look like, at this one. This one, this one can't look up. Wait, ah, a bee shaking back. Oh, <laughs> Honey <laughs> This one says, I pity those who have a crush on me because of my pictures. It's like you have not ordered something online before. What I ordered versus what I go. That thing is gangster, by wow. the way. Wow. That thing is gangster. That ordering things online. So that ordering things online, let us even put it because hey, yeah. something happened to us in this. Uh, this our, <laughs> did you see this on our uh, team? Something uh, happened to us. So we ordered something uh, that we saw. It was big and we're going to give <laughs> someone. <laughs> And guess what? Guess what? For mine, a big when, boss like this. When too. they brought it in, I was asking, everybody was asking the person that I brought it in. Is Where this is all? the sound? The person said, This is this that I'm holding. <laughs> Ah, uh, the they're, way you zoom. They're online vendors. Yeah. Yes, we know you want, but the way you take the pictures yes. can be very deceptive. Yeah. I like it when people purchase stuff from me and then they say that it is exactly what, what they saw. Do yeah. you understand? I really, really do like that. And guess what? On this one, on the flip side, hmm. when people meet me for the first time, like we've been communicating, yeah. I ask them, Is this what you saw? <laughs> because I don't want to go and hear that behind you are going to say that. Mm, uh, uh, and, and when I now saw her, I she caught, was not now, caught, she was not caught, now looking the way. I caught, I caught one popular actor at the airport one day, mm. and somebody came to see the actor, and you could tell that he was looking at his phone, like looking at the girl's picture and looking at. So me just sitting here by saying, oh my God, don't order no, with you. No, he no, was looking at you. No, it can be two no things. Colleague. It can be two things. You yeah. know that? So, <laughs> he look, ah, it, see, this was what the person was. He was looking at the phone like. That's why I need that. If they look and say, she have this girl for this Instagram. No, but there will be a problem. There okay. will be a problem if, you know, I come to work and I'm on TV and I'm wearing heels mm. and then you see me on sneakers or slippers mm. on like yeah, a Saturday. Not, not day. Uh, are you alright? Okay, moving wow. on. Okay. <laughs> mm. So people that put up this thing. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, no, you said that to me. No, no, no. No, no because no, no. you know that I, I promised you. I said I will not yeah, use yeah, certain no, yeah, terms. No, no, because no, I'm going to start no, no, now. No, no, question, no, question. Nonsense. No, no, yeah, sorry. No, 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 no question. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah. So someone put up this one and say, so can we talk on WhatsApp? Are we singing on Instagram? You know there are people like that that will say... <laughs> yeah, so... Like, okay, so I was on this app and then this person DM'd me and we chatted. Okay, what, what, which and app? Said, oh, those... Uh, Tinder. And then person is not Tinder, no. It, no, okay. Anyway, I was on an app, a social media app, and then this person DM'd me and we are chatting and then next thing I'm like, oh, I'm busy after. He's like, and let's chat on WhatsApp. I said, what are we doing here? Let's mm, chat here now. It's... Mama said, no, let's go to WhatsApp. I said, he even sent his WhatsApp number. So, so in defense of every person, it's more, this is like me having your actual number. Oh, so we're playing there? No, so that is like a social media platform. So it's not what is WhatsApp? It's, not, it's, not, it's not everybody on that social media platform that has your number. For me to have your number, I mm -hmm. probably chat on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. That means we're taking it to the next level. Don't so that you not categorize me among my IG friends. So for me to still say let's chat here, what does it mean? It means we've not got in there yet. Ah, wait till now there was fine. Let's wrap up this one. Uh, this one, waiter is asking, would you like a table and me? No, I came here to eat on the floor. Carpet for five, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do, do, ah. do, do, do you want a table? Uh, that is why I'm here. Yeah, am I supposed to eat? But that's cut you now. You, we all know what they are saying. We all know what they're saying. Know what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that person is being such. I think what know? this person wants is also. Oh, do you want to make a reservation? Okay, maybe that works. Maybe. Because you might even work into uh, like what will you be looking for? Like you could just be looking for somebody. You just want to have a word with them, and you yeah, outside probably and you find out the information. So they are asking you. Like, should we? Like, yeah. yeah. So it's not that serious. Okay, not I think I can chip in one more. Yes, this is somebody washing his hands. And the caption says, anything when go lead to, baby, promise me you'll never leave me. I don't wash my hand, come out from my hand. Yeah. Ah, only for hmm. And guess what? Those people that even say that, you know, the people, the party that brings up that conversation, like, you and know them. what? I will never leave you for anything. The person that says it, the first person that says that, I will never leave you for anything. Go and check when that relationship breaks. Now the first oh, so thing people should, go. I'm telling people you, should not be using that statement, Abby. If you leave I don't know, me, but yeah, my I'm only is that I sure don't want mm. all those nonsense, mushy mushy kind of things in my I own promise relationship. To never leave no, 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 no. I don't want to hear. If I, leave I don't want to hear. Me. What is life you without, without you? you? I can't live without you. There are some lines that. Ah. You say, you say, oh guy, you need this guy, you need this guy. I don't, don't. <laughs> and then I'll ask you, what do I look like, like a doll? How can I live without you, baby? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially done with social media and also the first half of the show. We'll be back at one for the second half of the, of the show with this week's East Splash Top, Top 10, 10 Countdown. Countdown. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the show. It is now time to cheer it off where one of us is about to rant on what's presently bugging him or her. I'm good. I know, because you people won. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's my turn to rant. And what do I want to talk about? Uh, it is something I have noticed, and I don't know, I've always wanted to talk about it. So when people go to supermarkets with price tags, even the expensive ones, all they will do is, ah, and I bought this thing from Mama Risika in my street for 100 naira. Well, it's 250 here, but let me shop buy it. At least I'll do video inside this supermarket. I'll say yep. I rent out, I rent shopping with shopping cart and all. But when they get back to their house, and then suddenly, Yariska says that thing is now 150. Ah, ah, but I bought it 100 naira last week. Now, this, and they power and everything. And I'm like, okay, so these people that own shops by the roadside, first of all, they pay for the rent. Then they go through a lot of trouble and stress to get those products in wholesale. <laughs> and then because you're now their customer, they give you at a discounted price, right, yeah. and you're still complaining. So how do they make ends meet? Mm -hmm. These are the people that actually need the money. So even if you're going to price, do not price too much. Yes, it's good to go to the market. They call me 5,000, you price to maybe two, five or 2,000. <laughs> My mother would be happy with that one. And then at the end of the day, maybe there's 15, I change. say, okay, Baba, keep it. Mm -hmm. That's still something. But when you now start complaining, these people that need it, when you start complaining about that little, little change, ah, no, I cannot leave my 100 naira with you, but when you go to the supermarket, what you're buying for 2,000 from this person, you're buying it 5,000, and you're not asking for change. 
Sometimes they even tell you, oh, we don't have 20 naira. You say, okay, keep don't worry, change. keep the change. <laughs> in a supermarket. But the vendor on the roadside that actually needs this small change, if everybody gives them 20 naira a day, at least 10 people, some of them manage to use it to feed their children. But those people that need it, you're very upset saying, no, I swear, I will not let you go with my 20 naira. This, no, I think... People need to take a cue and just, uh, even if you would price, still leave your little change, even if it's 50 or 100 naira. Sakma it deal. makes them happy. But it makes them happy because the I next think. time they see you, they will be the one, ah, customer, welcome. I have cheap, fresh vegetables. Mm. They're the ones that will call you. I totally agree with you, Catherine. It's good that you touch this because, you know, sometimes I even wonder because I've even heard people talk about this. Like you see someone who is selling stuff by the road. They don't even have a shop. They have just put up whatever thing they are selling. Umbrella, and then yeah. you look at their tree and you can see that everything they have there, if you put everything together, it can be more than 3,000 mm -hmm. naira. You know, so you know that they are, just have to leave the house every time to just, you know, find something so that they can eat. Um, I try to put it behind my, like, every now and then, like, okay, this extra, just give it to them. Just give it to them because, you know, when I can, it is yes. not a must. But when I can, I do that. But now say that you're going into the supermarket because you want to do videos. <laughs> Some people do. I mean, say, you let it be. Supermarkets in the abroad. I cannot say leave the change. Shout out, shout out to social media. Man. I don't do that. <laughs> Even if I <laughs> sweet, I will collect. Yes. I will not say leave the For mm -hmm. what? That's I am doing what? If you like, say that. Oh, yeah. I do random things because make you know that make you know this but, but but yeah, honest money now. I'm honest money, but that I'm honest money does not mean I should be wasteful. No, honest mm -hmm. money. No, no, they tell me that thing. Honest money, I have to be disciplined. On, no. I have to be you prudent. Know, it happened recently. I went to a supermarket, <laughs> and this lady kept saying, "I don't have twenty naira chain." I said, "Okay, so what will I buy with it?" She said, "Nothing." I said, "No." A colleague now came. Okay, Ma, this is I said, I cannot leave my 20 naira. Do you know what I did? When I got 20 naira, you know, at some of these supermarkets in front, at yes, the entrance, they something. have, yeah. no, they even have these um, places oh, where you charity. put money for yeah. charity. Yeah. I now that's looked at that, put true. the money inside, and walked out. The I'm like, I'd okay. rather give charity than you. Yeah. Because you are but a staff I, but, there, but you I, get discounts. Her name is Charity. Uh. I apologize for that. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Ah, wow. Oh, dry. Okay, wow. Wednesday. Oh, dry joke Wednesday. Yes, now. Uh, Did you see how silent it was? Uh, One minute silence. Uh, I apologize for that. <laughs> <laughs> Please, before I don't give me a dry joke, let me go and be going now. My neighbors. We're done. Bye, Bye. Bye. Uh, you've not seen people that will go and get British. They just want to enter that big store and just record something for them. For social media. So for what now? This I think if I wasn't on TV, if I wasn't a public figure that I, you know, you see me every time, I think I'll have a very quiet life. I think so. Low key, just the. I think so. You know why? Just chopping your money alone. <laughs> <laughs> you know why I think so? Because I don't know. I, I've never been that person. Like I tell people that I am just in between. I'm an ambivert. Like mm -hmm. you know, I am not an introvert. Introvert, but yeah. Extrovert, but yeah. I enjoy my space sometimes. Do you know that for no reason, I might just be looking for excuses. I'm like, oh, it's too sunny. I'm like, oh, I can't I go just to watch that. It. <laughs> there are some pictures on my phone that when people see, they're like, how come you didn't post this picture? But <laughs> no, I just, no, I, catch, no, no, see, no, no what, Catherine, I'll drag you There are some pictures oh, that no, I take no, for no, memories no. not to post. Catherine, I will drag you like a small jet. Catherine is a social butterfly. Hmm. If Catherine, on a Monday morning, hmm. if we just drop one beat like this, everybody they do. Can you go to I'm talking about pictures here, not Leave that. me alone. So don't tell me that I have one picture, one something, one kinika line line. No, 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 no. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in case you missed this, here's what we talked about in today's news. All right, Nigerian artists grab Grammy nominations. And of course, we talked about this one, Kevin Spacey, other to pay, House of Cat Production Company. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a break now. And when we come back, the East Splash Top 10 countdown will be in full effect. Stay here with us. Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You already know what time it is. It's always exciting when we bring you all the songs rocking the airwaves at the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the East Splash Top, Top 10, 10 countdown. countdown. 
Yes, taking the number 10 spot this week. This song was actually number 9. It's dropping one spot. And we have Kiss Daniel right here with this one titled Lie. And we talked about this one last week. Um, Kiss Daniel has dropped his EP. That's yes, right. Uh, Banabas. Banabas, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I love the experimentation he did on this particular mm. project. I love, I've listened to the seven track EP. I love the one he did with um, Caveman. Okay. O'Shea with Caveman. Did a couple of songs. Like, I just love the It's such a wonderful thing. I mean, doing one. stuff with Caveman, yeah. highlights, that means you have some mm -hmm. high life and some drums mm -hmm. and some okay. instruments mm -hmm. right there working. Yeah, Kiss <laughs> Daniel, no bad song. That's but right now he's at number 10. Kiss Daniel right here with Lie. Let's go. <laughs> interesting, interesting stuff right there. Mm -hmm. And that uh, was, of course, Kiss Daniel at number 10. Now, moving swiftly to number 9, uh, we've got this dude uh, who is really on fire because, you know what, TikTok, name it, Instagram, everywhere is on fire. And it has been on fire for a while from the beginning of the year, somewhat, so, you know, like that. Because, you know, the visualizer of this particular one, Peru, of course, is 6.7 million views on YouTube. Ooh. Alone, I mean, that's his visualizer. I mean, yeah. do you, can, you can, can just imagine that. <laughs> you know, recently, I think two days ago, he announced his tour, his USA tour. Right. And, uh, you know, he says, uh, USA, see you in February. And we are so looking forward to that. That's so things have been already. happening right here. And mm -hmm. this is Fireboy TML, Peru, at number nine. Take it away. I'm in San Francisco, When you want me, when you want me, I just flew in. I'm loose. Hey, the para. Ah ah, Pharaoh said not the para. All right, that was an amazing one from Fireboy DML. Right now, the next song on the number eight spot is by the one and only Ricardo Banks, and it's titled Ozumam. By the way, well, this song since the day it dropped, it has been a jam. Like. When it first dropped, I didn't even know it was Ricardo Bank. I was just jamming to the song. I'm like, who sang this song? And I say Ricardo. I'm like, okay, makes a lot of sense. I totally agree. And then guess what, guys? The video dropped 11 days ago. Right now, as I'm talking to you, it has 1.1 million views on YouTube and counting. It is currently number three on YouTube trending for music. And Ricardo Banks is set to take Ozumba Mbadi way to Dubai because hey. on Friday he's performing at the One Africa Music yeah. Fest. So leg off to Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> really amazing, guys. All right, check this one out. And number eight spot we have Ricardo Banks with Adrian Ozumba Mbadi way. Hey. Hey. Yeah, Ricardo Banks right there, Ozumba Mbadi way. <laughs> That particular line he made in, that, in the song, if you be giant, you be giant for your hmm. pocket. Okay. Uh, as, fired. as. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. the video, the visuals were saying he was talking about Nigeria because the Nigerian. African giant. Uh, well, it could be Nigeria and it could be Burning Boy. Yeah. Eh. I don't. Yeah. What is? Eh. So this one is not like you're hiding something under the tongue. It is the truth because hmm. you know. Um, a burning boy took a job at uh, Ricardo Banks. Hey. So if no, if what? Why do we enjoy music? We enjoy music because one of the reasons because we love the jazz people actually throw us. They always this one another, that and we love true. it. So you are not going to open your mouth right there mm -hmm. and tell me that. Wait, you did not know no, when sure. when Burner Boy was trying to tell Ricardo Banks that. So you know what? We're not talking about you. Stay in your class. Like we, we are. Okay, they're expecting you to say if so, you don't get it. <laughs> oh, so yeah. Oh, so Ricardo uh, Banks is referring to. If you don't get it, you don't get about it. it. Never. I was just talking about the Nigerian map that was. I know that, that you know what you're talking about, <laughs> and I know that you purposely said it where I am. So. That, Hmm. Let's, uh, shout out to Ricardo Banks, number eight, Ozuma, by the way. Let's just move on with the countdown. <laughs> Our number seven song this week was actually number six last week, so it's dropping one spot. And we have the 19 and Dangerous right here from the album 19 and Dangerous, Ira Star. With this one titled Blood is Samaritan, she's doing good for herself, shutting down shows in different places, shuttling 
outside Africa, coming back into Africa and everywhere. And in a recent interview, she talked about how she dresses and sings the way she wants. Yeah, because that speculation has been there that... Rihanna. Yeah, she yeah. has said it openly yeah. that yes. she idolizes Rihanna. Yeah. But right now, she's on the lane of her own. She don't care, man. Yeah, and she's loving whatever And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Enjoy yourself, Arasta. She's 19 and dangerous. This one, number seven. <laughs> It's titled Bloody Samaritan. Let's go. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for staying here with us. It is still our top 10 countdown right here on a splash. And before we went on that break, we had a number five Iris star with Bloody Samaritan. Now coming to number six, this particular one was a number eight last week. So it has actually risen. So this is more bad, feel good. Now this particular one, <laughs> it has a lot of lamba, a lot of slangs, a lot of catchy <laughs> lyrics right there. Why am I saying this? Because of course, you know that this is a Malian, you know, uh, um, rap artist, artist and mm -hmm. all of this and you know again that this particular tune is laced with the um, a piano tune mm -hmm. and we love it right mm -hmm. here and it's mm -hmm. almost like we've snatched it from the South Africans yeah. right here in Nigeria <clears throat> so I mean why are you doing uh, 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 uh. we snatched it now vocalistic with the champion it's, sound uh, uh, so well right but we're still right now. <laughs> Right now, we are feeling good in Nigeria with this one by Mo Bad at number six. Let's take it away. <laughs> hey, all right, guys. Really amazing tune right there. <clears throat> right now, we're on the number five spot. And this song, the very first time I heard it, I actually thought it was a lady that sang it. Because of the range, I amazing I voice. Mm. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. On number five spot, we actually have Loje and Sars with Mona Lisa. But something to note is the fact that since he dropped the Love and Attention EP, which the song is off mm -hmm. two months ago, mm -hmm. he dropped the video, a lot has been going well for Loje. Like this video dropped just two months ago, it has almost 7 million views, mm. over 6.9 million and counting. And he is billed to perform on the 3rd of December in London. He has a lot going his way. He was recently featured by DJ Neptune mm -hmm. on his song titled yeah. Only Fans, yeah. Himself and yeah. Zlatan. And mm -hmm. Lojo is excited about working with everyone. Mm -hmm. You see mm -hmm. him post every time. Mm -hmm. Let's work. Mm -hmm. He is full of positive vibes. Yeah. Wow. So even, right now... He even performed at the Afrima um, Award yes, Ceremony on Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Great man. performance. Mm -hmm. So guys, let's just enjoy all these amazing vibes. If you are Mona Lisa, <laughs> enjoy this song. <laughs> yeah. But if you are not Mona Lisa, you can be Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yes, sir. Number five right there, Lo J says Mona Lisa uh, tune. Our and number four song, ladies and gentlemen, it was actually number five last week, so it's jumping one spot. And we have the birthday boy. I think yesterday was his birthday. Yes, yes yesterday was his birthday. So what was your birthday wish to Flavor? We're talking about Flavor, by the way. Yes, because everybody knows that I have a huge crush on Flavor. Yeah. I, I, I wish him more. I wish him good health, more money, you know, long life. Because you no know, beauty want queens. To, uh, I, I really do not want him to, to continue to, you know, be beauty queen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that, but the thing is that see, it's enough. It's okay. okay. Let him focus on other things. No, okay. because every time, every time, woman, beauty woman, queen. woman, 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 <laughs> <laughs> eh, eh, because I love flavor especially. Now, wow. Uh, hey, now, wow, if you like. Yeah, we're talking about flavor, and of course, it's taking number four position right here on the countdown with levels, and it's crazy how this song has caught fire that they even perform hey. it in church right now. There's a clip on social media yeah, so of a particular church and they're ah, uh, grooving to the I saw song. that video, OJ. I say, hey, uh, yeah. that song. Yeah, but right now we're talking mm. about the main video. Number four, <laughs> flavor levels after this break. <laughs> <laughs> Nabania on that one, and you can so be sure that that is levels, right? Mm -hmm. I heard that some churches have been playing these songs in church, mm -hmm. like they dance to this song in church, and I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. how did we find ourselves here? <laughs> All right, and number three, moving swiftly, is Joe Boy Sip. This particular one, Joe Boy recently took to his Instagram page and he was thanking fans because he has 150 million streams in two months. 
what? That's a great fit. And uh, you, you can tell that, in fact, on YouTube, it has 11 million views. Mm -hmm. uh, this particular one mm -hmm. is shot in a very short while. All right, congratulations, Joe Boy. And, uh, well, at number three, Joe Boy, sit. Make no money, stress me like, hey, really nice tune right there. All right, this next one is still occupying the same spot it occupied last week. Last week, it was number two. Now, it is number two because we're about to get high. Here yeah, we have Adekole Gold featuring Davey Doe with a song titled, Hi. Let's go. Yes, sir. Hi. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I like good right there. David Doe with Hi. Before we tell you number one song for this week, let's take you through a recap of the countdown so far. At number 10, we had Kiss Daniel with Lie. At number nine, it was Fire Boy DML, Peru. And at number eight, we had Ricardo Banks with Ozumba Madiway. And of course, number seven, Ira Star with Bloody Samaritan. Number six, it was Mo Bad Feel Good. And at number five, we had Loje and Saz with Mona Lisa. And of course, number four, we had Flavor with Level. And number three, Joe Boy, Sip. And at number two, Ade Kolego featuring David Doe getting high right there. Yes, our number one song for this week, and of course, the second week in a row, is this beautifully crafted song. And of course, we have T.O.S. Savage right here featuring Brandy. And this one, as you already know, is titled Somebody's Song. Sorry. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, our time is done and dusted right here on the show. My name is OJ, and I did this alongside your girlfriend next door on the port. And of course, Lady Cat, be at peace with yourself. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Number one, T.O.S. Savage, Brandy, Somebody's Son. Let's go. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, thank you.